Mrs. Houston uh, confirming with the, the men in the follow 13 that they uh, are following all of the prescribed flight plan for this uh, firing of the descent propulsion system engine now just to three and a half minutes plus away. Roger. Aquarius, you go for the burn. So everything is in readiness for this critical maneuver. That descent propulsion system engine is throttleable. That is, it can be operated from 1,050 pounds thrust to 9,500 pounds thrust. They really don't need much of a uh, burn uh, at this point, uh, just enough to increase their speed 14 and a half miles an hour, and that uh, will give them the speed to be put back on a so-called free return trajectory that will assure that they will go skimming around the moon and be headed back safely toward Earth. We're waiting. Okay, Aquarius, you're looking good. Waiting to hear from that burn due in about a minute and a half from now. They made the burn. Does <laughs> this sound like to you? I hear the power shut down. Okay, yeah. hey, you're looking at 1685 now, Jack. It's due just now. Hmm. Okay, you're uh, going to residuals. Proceed. No, it's due yeah. another. They made the burn. The residuals are the little decimal errors that are going to burn out. Okay, and when you say going to residuals, you mean. Uh, don't uh, trim them, is that right? That's affirmative, uh, no trim required. Hmm. The burn's complete. The uh, slight areas that were left were not okay. enough to take out. It's interesting to note that he said Apollo shut down. He hasn't been talking honestly just now. <laughs> I guess he's not sure which one he's really working. Of course, he is. No, he is. He knows he's in Aquarius. But the first statement of Apollo shut down meant that the burn had been completed and the slight burn that were off the desired velocity were not sufficient to trim out with the reaction control engines, the attitude engines. Uh, so apparently we have completed this uh, how, weak burn. How will we get confirmation? Aquarius, uh, check your master arm off, please. How will we get confirmation that the uh, trajectory, uh, the attitude was right for this burn? They'll be tracking them from the ground, Walter, and they should have a ground track on him here and be able to update his trajectory. This will take time, and we have time. Uh, so the trajectory itself is... Actually, the navigation is, is kept on the ground if you really get down there. Okay, this is burn complete. Now we have to talk about uh, power down and uh, what do you want us to do with the, uh, the thing? Roger, uh, we're looking at that right now and uh, you'll be the first one to get to work. <laughs> <laughs> we 
was talking about is the primary guidance navigation system, whether they will in turn power that down. Uh, apparently the reference system is good enough for that burn. Uh, it went off well. Uh, unless they can find stars and update its attitude reference system, they'll stick with what they've got and not power it down. And, uh, Houston, uh, it's uh, doubtful right now whether we'll be able to see the stars uh, in this configuration. Uh, the only way we could possibly get around it is with the Earth and the Terminator, or the Moon and its Terminator. And it's sure to have you look at a power down, uh, we're uh, keeping the things if at all possible. Roger, Jim, uh, we'll get the word for you. Now, looking at that simulation, you can imagine the far side of it would be dark, and that's what they're hoping would be the way you could look at the stars. <coughs> standing up in mission control for just a little stretch, I guess, the tension of uh, the last uh, five and a half hours uh, beginning to show they're stretching out. They've got that burn out of the way. They, uh, Assuming that the trajectory is good now, the men are are on the way home. In, a, in essence, they're still on the way out to the moon, but uh, the speed should be up if the uh, course is correct. They'll uh, whip around the moon tomorrow night and Just start about, coming home. It's like the, the baseball game that started now. You can't go from first to third to home. You've got to go by second, and that's about where the moon is. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, this is the pattern that applies to orbital mechanics as well as uh, the stadium mechanics, I guess. We might point out again why they didn't uh, just turn around and come home. Well, it's not quite that simple. It takes a lot of power to stop the, the flight path that they were on and to uh, abort in mid-space uh, mid, uh, uh, in that fashion. They don't have that power. That's just the trouble. With the service propulsion system engine out, they had to go on the way. That's right. If the service propulsion system had been active, they and, uh, would, that, that would have been possible. Well, if, if that engine out, uh, the only way to get back was to take, to take the free return trip around the moon.